In this example, we want to determine whether this series converges or diverges using the alternating series test. Okay, so let's uh, look at the first four terms just to give us an idea to see whether or not this is an alternating series. Okay, so we're going to start with n equals 1. So when n is 1, we're going to get 1 on top. On the bottom, we end up getting uh, minus 2 to the 0 power. So that's going to give us 1. So this is just going to this is just going to be 1. The next one is for n equals 2. So when, when n is 2, we get 2 on top. And then we get minus 1 to the first power. So that's going to give us minus 1. Okay. When n is 3, we're going to get 3 on top. Okay. And on the bottom, we're going to get minus 2 to the second power. So that's going to give us 4. So therefore, we get 3 fourths. When n is 4, we get 4 on top, okay? And the bottom, we have minus 1 to the third power. So that's going to give us minus 4 eighths, which reduces to minus 1 half, okay? So just from the first few terms, we can get an idea that this perhaps is a, an alternating series. But let's uh, rewrite this, okay? We can rewrite this series in such a way so we can identify the, uh, not only we can, we can identify the nth term and also look at the, uh, uh, the generator for the signs, okay, for the for the alternating signs. Okay, so we have n equals one. This is n over minus two to the n minus one. So this is the same as writing okay, so we can write this as n over we can we can go ahead and take out minus 1 to the n minus to the n minus 1 and that's going to leave us with 2 times n to the minus 2 to the n minus 1 okay okay so this part okay this part is generating the alternating signs okay and this okay this part is the nth term okay Okay, so now to uh, we need to apply the alternating series test. Okay, so there's two conditions that we have to check for. Okay, so the first condition, okay, is that the limit of the n term as n approaches infinity goes to zero. The second condition is that the nth plus one term has to be less than or equal to the nth term, okay? All right, so let's first take the limit of the nth term as n goes to infinity. So we're gonna have, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have the limit as n goes to infinity of, okay, so this is gonna be n over two to the n minus one. So doing a direct substitution on this, okay, we're going to get, as for n, as n goes infinity, this is going to go to infinity, okay, uh, 2 to the n minus 1 approaches infinity as n goes to infinity, okay. So we need to apply the L'Hopital's uh, rule here. Okay. All right, so now let's do that. Okay. So we're going to take the derivative of the top part and then the derivative of the bottom part. So the derivative of n with respect to n is going to be 1. And then the derivative of the denominator with respect to n will be 2 to the n minus 1 times natural log 2. Okay. So basically there, um, I used, uh, just to refresh your memory on that, uh, the derivative of something in the form of u to the, or sorry, let's say a to the x, okay, or in this case, let's say it's a to the u, 
is going to be a to the u times natural log a times u prime. Okay, so that's where I applied the uh, second the uh, applied the derivative on the bottom part. So that's how we got two to the n minus one times natural log two. Okay, so this result. Okay, so as n approaches infinity, we get one over infinity. So this is going to go to zero. Okay. So therefore, by the Lobatov's rule, okay, the limit of the nth term, okay, is going to zero. So that condition is met. Okay. All right. Let's look at the second condition. We have to show that the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay. So the nth term, the nth term was n over 2 to the n minus 1. Okay, so we want to get the nth plus 1 term. So we just basically substitute n plus 1 for n. So on top we get n plus 1 divided by 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. That leaves us with n plus 1 divided by, uh, sorry, 2 to the n. Okay. All right, so let's check this. Okay, so we have uh, for the nth plus one term, we have n plus one over two to the n. And we want to show that this is less than or equal to n over two to the n minus one. You know, for all n going from one to infinity, okay? So we wanna see, okay, we wanna check to see whether this is true or not. Okay. So since n is going from one to infinity, okay, uh, we can we can use the idea of cross multiplication here. Okay. So this is going to give us two to the n minus one times n plus one, less than or equal to n times two to the n. Okay. And then we can break up. 2 to the n minus 1. That's going to give us 2 to the n times 2 to the negative 1 times n plus 1 less than or equal to n times 2 to the n. Okay, so we can cancel out 2 to the n and that will leave us with n plus 1 over 2. Okay, because we have 2 to the minus 1 that we can rewrite that as 1 half. And then this is less than or equal to n. Okay, so this is the same as n plus one less than or equal to two times n. Uh, we can subtract both sides of n, so that's gonna leave us with one less than or equal to n. So one less than or equal to n is the same thing as n bigger or equal to one. So therefore that shows, okay, the, that shows that the nth plus one term is less than or equal to n term for n bigger or equal to one, okay. Right, so we showed that, okay. Okay, so therefore, right, one, right, the first part is satisfied and the second part is satisfied. So therefore, okay, this series converges by the altering series test, okay. So it converges. Okay.